Before starting with the video, do hit the like button and press the subscribe button to get latest video. Let's get started with the video. The most crowded island in the world, Santa Cruz del Islote, a tiny island off the coast of Colombia, is often cited as the most densely populated island in the world. Measuring just 3 acres, 1.2 hectares, this small speck of land in the Caribbean Sea is home to an estimated 1,200 people living in close quarters. Santa Cruz del Islote, a tiny 3-acre island off the coast of Colombia, is often cited as the most densely populated island in the world. With an estimated 1,200 residents, its population density is staggering, reaching around 1,000 people per acre, 400 per hectare. To put this into perspective, Manhattan, one of the most densely populated places in the United States, has a population density of about 28,000 people per square mile, 10,800 per square kilometer. This means Santa Cruz del Islo is nearly four times as dense as Manhattan. The island's population growth can be traced back to the mid-19th century, when it was a small, uninhabited island. Fishermen from nearby areas began settling on the island, bringing their families and friends to work as fishermen. Over time, more people settled on the island using materials like seashells, coconut shells, tree trunks, sand, and even garbage to expand the land area. Despite the challenges of living in such close quarters, the island's residents are known for their strong sense of community and solidarity. Santa Cruz del Islote remains a fascinating example of human resilience and adaptation in the face of limited resources and space. The population growth of Santa Cruz del Islote can be traced back to the mid-19th century, when it was a small, uninhabited island covering less than a hectare. Initially, fishermen from nearby Cartagena and Tolu discovered the island, using it as a resting spot during fishing trips and as a refuge from storms. Its strategic location made it an attractive stopover for those venturing into the Caribbean Sea. As fishing activities flourished, more individuals began to settle on the island, drawn by the promise of abundant marine resources. Families and friends followed, creating a tight-knit community centered around fishing as a primary livelihood. Over time, the population grew significantly, transforming the once desolate island into a bustling hub of activity. The islanders adapted their living conditions, using local materials to expand their homes and create a sustainable environment. However, the limited space and resources pose challenges, leading to a high population density that continues to characterize Santa Cruz del Islo today. Despite these challenges, the community remains resilient, thriving on their shared experiences and strong connections to the sea, which has shaped their way of life for generations. This unique history underscores the island's transformation from an uninhabited land to one of the most densely populated islands in the world. As the population of Santa Cruz del Islo grew over time, the islanders resourcefully used materials from the surrounding environment to expand the land area of their tiny island home. They gathered seashells, coconut shells, tree trunks from neighboring islands, sand, and even garbage to fill in and build up the island. The origin of the island's name, Santa Cruz del Islo, which translates to Holy Cross of the Little Island, is said to have come from a cement cross that washed ashore and was placed in the center of the island by the first settlers. At the time, the island had no name, but from that day forward, it was called Santa Cruz del Islo. While seafood is plentiful due to the surrounding waters, all other food and household supplies must be transported by boat from the mainland. The island faces a critical shortage of drinking water. Previously, the Colombia Navy supplied water, but this service has ceased, forcing residents to rely on rainwater collection during the rainy season and salt water for bathing. The lack of a reliable potable water source has led to health concerns, as the community must manage with limited resources. Additionally, Santa Cruz del Islo lacks basic sanitation facilities, with no toilets or sewage systems in place. Waste management is a pressing issue as the island's small size exacerbates pollution and garbage disposal challenges. Family members who pass away are buried on nearby islands due to the they adapt to their circumstances, relying on fishing and tourism as their primary means of livelihood. The island's vibrant culture and close-knit social fabric enable residents to navigate the difficulties of life in such a densely populated environment. Adrian Caraballo, a 25-year-old community leader, emphasizes the deep connection the islanders have with the ocean, stating, We feel this deep connection with the ocean. And even though we're in this little place, we've got the vast sea around us, full of all sorts of marine life. This sentiment reflects the islanders' resilience and the importance of their environment to their way of life. However, the influx of tourism poses both opportunities and challenges. While it brings economic benefits, it also raises concerns about environmental sustainability and the preservation of the island's culture. Caraballo notes that many tourists perceive the island as impoverished, overlooking the richness of community life and shared resources. Education is vital for the future of Santa Cruz del Islo, as the local school only goes up to the 10th grade, forcing students to leave for further education. The islanders continue to strive for a sustainable future, 
balancing their unique lifestyle with the pressures of modern challenges, all while maintaining their strong communal bonds. While Santa Cruz del Eslo is often cited as the most densely populated island in the world, its status as such is not without controversy. Some residents, like teacher Alexander Atencio, argue that there is no official data or Guinness World Record to back up this claim. The island's isolation and lack of official statistics make it challenging to verify its population density compared to other densely populated islands around the world. Other islands like Salset Island, Greater Mumbai, and Singapore are also extremely densely populated, with densities of more than 30,000 people slash Kim2 and 8,500 people slash Kim2 respectively. The controversy surrounding Santa Cruz del Islote's status as the most crowded island is further fueled by the fact that there are other islands that could potentially claim this title. For example, K de List, an island off the coast of Haiti, was once part of a group of 15 islands in the Bay des Cays, but now only five remain. While Santa Cruz del Islo is often cited as the most densely populated island in the world, its status is not without controversy. The island's unique geography, free from mosquitoes, made it an attractive location for habitation. Life on Santa Cruz del Islo is fraught with challenges. Approximately 500 visitors arrive daily drawn by the island's charm and the opportunity to swim with nurse sharks. Despite these hardships, the community exhibits a strong sense of solidarity. Islanders have developed a vibrant culture centered around communal living with a school, health center, and small businesses. The absence of police highlights the residents' self-reliance and mutual support. The future of Santa Cruz del Islo remains uncertain, especially as traditional fishing practices decline due to overexploitation and climate change. However, the islanders continue to adapt, finding new ways to sustain their livelihoods through tourism while grappling with the environmental impacts that accompany it. Santa Cruz del Islo serves as a powerful reminder of the diverse ways people can thrive in even the most challenging environments, showcasing the indomitable spirit of its residents. Thanks for watching till the end. Make sure to subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to a future videos update.